I went to sleep. I passed out probably for about four hours, I think. Um, Mum had given me some more medications and I woke up and my arm had started to swell. It started to sting years before and she said, yes, that needs to be cut out because everywhere where it's bright red and hot is dead flesh and it has to be cut out plus the fat layer under the skin has to be cut out and that never can be replaced. We're recommended to a private surgeon and um, a couple of days later I was put into to surgery and in the end uh, he just managed to have had another spider bite in, in previous times and, and came out afterwards and started to say to my mum, oh, look, I know what it is, she's been bitten by a spider bite. The toxin that it puts into you when you're bitten has a flesh-eating enzyme in it and it eats away flesh. They had to actually operate and take out all of the dead tissue and the dead skin from inside and take it from around here and around the back at, at the bottom of the elbow because it had escalated so much. When it gets to that stage it needs skin grafting because the necrotizing effect, that's how bad that one got at 12 weeks. After I'd been operated on, after they'd taken the tissues out and and cleaned up my arm and, and sewed it back up. I felt as if I was a million dollars. I felt totally different. They'd washed all of the poisons they think out of my system. And I had four operations in four weeks, three months flat on my back in hospital. I couldn't move because the grafting would move. And then it took me 18 months to really recover. And to my astonishment, it broke out on this leg in almost the same area it got nasty with the necrosis and ulceration. This is how my leg ended up after they'd cut out all the dead flesh. When you go into theatre, they have a pink form and you have to sign it to say that if they can't fix it, they can amputate. That's the worst thing I've ever had to sign. And um, I was absolutely terrified because I thought I'd wake up and find I had no foot. Four operations in four weeks took a toll on my body, plus all the drugs I had, my liver packed up, my kidneys packed up, and I was a sorry sight. Three months later, I was out of hospital again, in a wheelchair and had to learn to walk again. I've had friends that have had different reactions to them because, like I said, around my area, they're very common, and I know other people that have been bitten and only had tiny reactions or gotten a purple scar. So following up, did you get any symptoms after that? Oh, about 18 months later, a bit of a rash came back up, but, and then probably about another 12 months after that again, but each time it got smaller. I can't handle even seeing them around the house. I spray everything before I go to sleep. But we've got the surface spray thing going and we spray religiously once a month. Now, this spider's really good. He hunts at night time. And is there a reason they have come inside? As soon as late summer comes in, I want to cruise around. The home is the perfect spot. Because up in the corners, most people have cobwebs lurking. So during the daytime, they're going into spots behind your picture frames, in the bookcase, maybe in the cupboard where it's real damp. As soon as nighttime comes, it's their natural ambition to go out and feed. A lot of people get bitten in bed, leaving their clothes on the floor at night, uh, in their shoes, in kids' toys, in the bathroom. And it comes down, it abseils down on one single strand of silk to where it wants to go. I found white tails in the bed since I got bitten and I just wind everything back and then I wind the sheets back and check it all before I get in it. That looked like a spider. You just got to check everything. No, it's a shadows. My cushions makes you a little paranoid. I have a look and there's nothing there, but not crazy. They're pretty tough. When you kill one, they go crunch. People are sitting down, watching the TV, about to go to sleep, and that's when most bites occur. It's from about four o'clock in the afternoon. You see them coming out from behind pictures or somewhere that, where they've hidden, and as soon as it's night time, they're out, and they go back when the sun comes up. Well, I didn't even feel the bite. This is the, the odd thing. I just woke up one day with what I thought was a, a mosquito bite on my arm. And a lot of people get bitten by taking the towel off, throwing it around their back to dry their back, and they get bitten. I've even got one soldier in Iraq who had his sleeping bag sent to him and it wasn't checked. He climbed into it and got bitten. This is my latest bite. Victims have sent photos to me. This lady was bitten on the hand and it got a lot worse than that and encompassed the whole side of her hand. She ended up in hospital having it skin grafted. She's had eight operations on that eye and 
That was way back in the early 90s and it still looks like that. And this is what she looked like originally. This lady, this is how she comes out every year. She gets the scab and the reddening. I've got an 80 year old on my register who was bitten when she was 25. She has an outbreak every year. The funnel web, the red back, the wolf spider does a similar thing, but that doesn't reoccur. This gentleman was in his garden trying to shift a cocos palm. So he thought he'd hug it and maybe that would help. And he was immediately covered in hundreds of white tail spiders. And it went all over his body except the soles of his feet. He estimated that he was bitten over 250 times. And I have a lot of victims telling me they're so depressed. They ask themselves, what's the use of going on? There's no cure for this. And just two months ago, I had a, a suicide.